Hey everyone, Travis here. I'm gonna show you how to set up Google Analytics and Google Tag Manager on a GeneratePress website. This will be a full walkthrough of how to create the Google Analytics account and create the Google Tag Manager account. Let's get started. The first thing uh, you'll notice is we have a demo site here, spicywp.com. So this will be where we're, we're installing the analytics. Let's head over to analytics.google.com. Your screen may look a little bit different than mine depending on if you've created a Google Analytics account before or not. But what we're going to do is we're going to go down to this bottom settings gear. It's called admin. So we're going to click on that and we want to create an account. For the account name, I'm going to use the domain name for the website so that in our case it's spicywp.com. Uh, we're going to go through the data sharing options so you can check what's appropriate here. Uh, read through those and whatever data you want to share with Google. The property name, I'm going to once again just put in the domain name. Select time zone and currency. Click next. Here, Google wants to know a little bit about the business that Analytics is being installed on. So go ahead and just pick whatever's appropriate for you here, what the size of your business and the type of business, and then what you're looking to do with Google Analytics, whether you're measuring customer engagement, you wanna optimize the website, um, you know, increase conversions, that sort of thing. So read through all those, check off what's appropriate for you, and then click create. Then we can Accept the terms. For start collecting data, we're gonna choose the web platform. It wants us to set up a data stream, so we're gonna put in our domain name here and the domain name also for the stream name and create stream. Okay, so we have Google Analytics set up now. The only thing we're gonna need from here is the measurement ID, but I'm gonna come back to this. So I'm gonna leave the screen open for now. We're going to go over to tagmanager.google.com. We want to create an account. For the account name, I'm going to again put in the domain name, countries United States. We want to put in the domain name again for the container name. This is just to keep everything consistent. We're going to be targeting the web platform, create. We're going to accept the terms once again. Okay, now we have our tag manager account created. Um, it's going to give you the code here to install on the website. I'm going to close this for now and I'll show you how to get back to that code install screen. So we're going to go over to tags and we want to create a new tag. This is going to be GA4-config. So that just means Google Analytics 4 and this is the configuration like setup for the for the Google Analytics tag. So we're gonna click on tag configuration and we want Google Analytics GA4 configuration. You can see why we gave it that name. And it wants a measurement ID. So I'm gonna go back over to analytics and I want to copy this measurement ID that they gave us and head back over to tag manager. We're gonna paste that measurement ID in. We wanna make sure that this is checked. Send a page view event when this, this configuration loads. That's good. We don't have to worry about these other things. Next thing we want to set is triggering. We want to set it to trigger on all pages. And then we're going to hit save. Okay, so now we have Google Analytics set up inside of Google Tag Manager. To save this, we're going to hit submit and then publish. It wants us to add a description, but we only really need to add a description if you're working on a team or something and multiple people are in here changing these containers. But if it's just us, we're probably okay with not putting anything in there. All right, so it's published. We can go ahead and close this. We want to go over to admin and we'll wait a second for it to load. And then we want to install Google Tag Manager. So once again, it's gonna show us the code here um, for installing Tag Manager. It's gonna give us one code that it wants us to paste in the head of the document. And then additionally, it's gonna has another code that it wants us to put in the opening body tag. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head back over to our website. We're gonna go into the admin panel, the WordPress admin. And um, the first thing that you wanna do is if you're, you wanna make sure that you're running Generate Press Premium. So if I go to my plugins, uh, I have this GP Premium plugin installed. If you don't have Generate Press Premium, I'll have a link in the description where you can get it. But once we have GP Premium, we can go over here to Generate Press. And we wanna make sure that this Elements block, or I'm sorry, Elements module is activated. So you can see I already have it activated here. 
So if that's activated, it'll show up here as elements under uh, appearance, the appearance menu item. This is where we're gonna add the Google Analytics. We're gonna click add new element. The element type is hook and then create. For this first one, we're gonna go back over here. It says paste this code as high in the head as possible. So I'm gonna copy this code. We're gonna call this Google Tag Manager Head. And then we're gonna paste that code in there. For the uh, settings here, we need hook, WP head, that's correct. We don't have to worry about short codes, PHP or priority. We're gonna go to display rules and then the location. We wanna choose entire site. That'll make it uh, show up on every page of the website, which is what we want. And we're gonna click publish. Okay, so now if you remember, we have one more code here. It wants this immediately after the opening body tag. So I'm gonna copy that code. We're gonna go back over to the website. I'm gonna add a new element. The element is gonna be a hook again. We're gonna create. So this is going to be Google tag, if I could type. And then we're gonna paste in that body code that we copied. So for settings, now this is where we're gonna change the hook. And instead of WP head, this is gonna be WP body open. So if you remember, it says, it pastes code immediately after the opening body tag. So that's right where we want it. Uh, we don't have to worry about short codes, PHP or priority again. We do have to set the display rules to the entire site and publish. Okay, now that that's published, we should be able to go over to the back to the website. I'm gonna refresh this page and then I'm gonna check and see if it's showing up in analytics. So you can see last time we were in analytics, it says data collection isn't active for your website. So hopefully that's changed now. So I'm gonna close that. We're gonna go over to home and all right, there we go, we got it. So your website's data collection is active. We can see that there's a user on the website. If we went over to reports and then real time, you could see more data about uh, about the users. In our case, it's just me on the website, um, but that's it. If you found this video helpful, then it'd be great if you could hit that like button. If you have any questions or issues, go ahead and drop a comment down below. I'll do my best to respond to all of those. And if you wanna see any more videos on Generate Press, Google Ads, Analytics, or Tag Manager, those are all tools that I work with every day, and I'd be happy to make a video on one of those. Until then, I'll see you next time.